Hi, this is Claire from Aha. Ideas portals are such an awesome way to crowdsource feedback in a central place. And you can use them in so many different ways, from capturing product enhancements to innovation programs and internal requests. Because Ideas portals are so versatile, it's super important to customise each one so you can effectively engage your community. So today I'm going to show you how to make your portal your own in AHA Ideas, including branding options, submission forms and terminology. I hope that the tips I'm about to share will help you get started quickly so you can let the ideas roll in. Let's go! So here I am on the Ideas Overview page in my AHA Ideas account. Now, if you haven't already created an Ideas Portal, let me very quickly show you how to do that. You'll just need to click Add Ideas Portal, then give your portal a title, set a theme color, select the portal access level, so private or public, click Create Portal and you are ready to go. Now, to really show you all of the different customization options, I'm going to use this portal here, the Fredwin Cycling Public Ideas Portal, because I've already gone ahead and customized it so I can show you exactly what you can do. Now, here you can see what my portal looks like from the perspective of someone coming to submit a new idea. Because I'm an administrator, you'll see this grey bar at the top, and this makes it super easy for me to get right into my portal settings. So we'll go through each of the settings tabs here and talk about what you can do in each one. So the overview tab, that's where you can update any of the basic information about your portal. So you can change the title if you want to, give your portal a subtitle and choose a subdomain. I do want to point out this advanced language option. This gives you the ability to display your portal in different languages. So English, Spanish, French, German and Dutch. Really great if you have a global community. Under the type settings, this is where you can update the access settings and also control the visibility of ideas. And then in the voting section, you can set voting rules if that's something that's important to you. Let's go ahead and look at the layout tab now. The layout tab is really where you get into the details of setting up your idea submission forms, choosing the categories you want to use to organize your ideas, and also updating your idea status workflows to truly reflect the way your company manages ideas. I do just want to go back to the forms for a moment though and show you how it's possible to create dynamic idea submission forms. You can see in this example here how I've added multiple steps and conditional rules. And this really makes it possible to streamline the way I capture ideas, make sure I get all of the relevant details, but only show the fields and the questions that I want a user to fill out based on the type of idea that they're submitting. Moving on, let's take a look at branding. We already selected a theme color, but you can also upload a logo and a favicon. And then over here in the custom section, there are even more options. You can add a custom domain and you can even put in custom CSS code if you really want to make your portal extra beautiful. Next, we'll take a look at emails. You can control the branding and the content for all of the emails that are automatically sent to portal users. There are a number of templates here for inviting users to your portal, thanking them for submitting ideas and notifying them when the status of an idea changes. So go ahead and really make those your own too. If you want to use different terminology in your portal, not a problem. Use the language that makes the most sense to you. And then finally, you can manage exactly who has access to your portal. You can also put privacy settings in place and enable SSO. Okay, so we have covered a lot in a short amount of time. And of course, you don't have to make all of these customizations in one go. But once you really get into your portal, I think you'll love all of the different ways that you can truly make it your own. And if you have questions, please let us know. Our team is here for you. Email us at support at aha.io and we'll respond super fast. Thank you.